Dominican Republic, and I just chose it because I've been there before, and it's a really nice place to go. Um, it is a sovereign state occupying the eastern two-thirds of Hispaniola, which is that island with Haiti and Dominican Republic. Um, the western one-third is occupied by Haiti, which makes Hispaniola um, one of the two Caribbean islands with St. Martin that has two different nations on it. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, it is the second largest Caribbean nation by area after Cuba with 48,000 square kilometers. And the third population with approximately 10 million people, which is a lot for a small island. 10 million. Um, Three million live in the metropolitan area of Santo Domingo, which is their capital city. I think this is right there. Um, Dominican Republic has the ninth largest economy in Latin America and is the largest econ economy in the Caribbean and Central Americas. Uh, though long known for agriculture and mining, the economy is dominated by like services. Over the last two decades, the Dominican Republic has been standing out as one of the fastest growing economies in the Americas. Uh, it's the most visited destination in the Caribbean because of its white sands. There's a picture of the beaches or something on there. They have really like that. They have really white sands, and if you can like look closely, you can see it like kind of turns pink. Some of the beaches have like all pink sands because of the coral, and it's super nice. Um, it's home to both the Caribbean's tallest mountain peaks, Pico Dorte is the tallest. Um, lake Enriquillo is the lowest point of elevation there. It's a, the biggest lake on one of the islands. Um, they have an average temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and the country is also the site of the first cathedral, castle, monastery, and fortress built in all the Americas. Uh, the country. Music and sport are of great importance in Dominican culture. They do lots of like dancing and rituals and that kind of crazy stuff. Um, merengue and bachata is the national like dance and music for their country, and baseball is one of their most favorite sports. Uh, for most of its history, the country was known as Santo Domingo the name of its president capital, which is St. Dominic, and continued to be commonly known as this in English until like the 20th century. The residents were called Dominicanos, or Dominicans, which is the ad adjective form of Domingo. Um, they named their newly independent country La Republica Dominica. Uh, the Dominican Republic has four important mountain ranges, and there's a picture of mountains, but you can kind of see the Cordillero Central, which is like the main big one. Um, extends from the northwestern coastal town of Monte Cristi to the Haitian border, to the Samana Peninsula in the east, and running parallel to the Atlantic coast. Um, the highest range in the Dominican Republic, in the, or in the whole western Indies, is the Central, and there's a picture of it somewhere. That one, that's a picture of it. I didn't take that though, that's really cool. Um, it bends southward and finishes near the town of Azua on the Caribbean coast. Uh, the Dominican is the top, is one of the top ten tourist attractions with its white and pink beaches, mountain ranges, and forests. And the waters there are super blue and clear, which is, especially like on the shore, which is kind of because usually close to the shore it's kind of murky and gross because it's sand. Um, if you have never been, I would suggest you go or look into going because it has, was by far one of the nicest places I've ever been. Like just that, like it's it's not super hot like most places are. Like in Mexico it gets ridiculously hot and it just kind of sucks. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs>